has revealed its earnings broadly in line with expectations. Profit for the year increased 22% uh, to $7.5 billion. Uh, earnings per share for the quarter were 89 cents. And much of that was driven by the smash hit fairy tale movie, Frozen. But there is also a recurring cost of comic book superheroes from Marvel, who are consistently saving and smashing their way to box office domination. Yet, as CCTV's Owen Fairclough reports, Marvel is a complex creature that Disney cannot fully master. You're all puppets. Puppets, maybe. But Marvel's superheroes are dancing to a very lucrative tune right now. Avengers Age of Ultron isn't out until next May. But the teaser trailer was watched 34 million times in just 24 hours, a YouTube record. Those who grew up on the comic book characters filling Marvel's universe can't get enough of the movies, mostly. They're fun. Those movies are so enjoyable and entertaining and you feel good coming out of them and you want to root for everybody in them. Give us an example of a movie that disappointed you. So, um, Iron Man 3, um, everyone, I guess, really loved that movie, but for me personally, I just, I didn't like how they portrayed the Mandarin, the main villain in the movie. The fact that they've grown this, this uh, movie universe, so they've, all the movies kind of fit together, they piece together. Parent company Disney's buyout of Marvel's movie studio in 2009 gave it control over characters like Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and the Avengers, turning them into huge movie franchises. But what about the ones that got away? In theory, Marvel's universe is limitless, but in reality, Disney has found there are very strict boundaries. For example, Disney doesn't have the rights to make two of the most successful franchises of recent times, Spider-Man and X-Men. 20th Century Fox has the mutants, while Sony has the web slinger. That's more than $7 billion that could have been Disney's had Marvel not licensed those heroes to the opposition before the takeover. Disney's return on the characters it can license has nevertheless been stunning. More than $5 billion in global box office takings. Those in the industry say broadening the reach of the source material is the key to future success. Comic books for a long time have been written for not everyone, and they haven't been easily found by everyone because they're in comic book stores now instead of in grocery stores and newsstands like they used to be. And true to the best superhero plot lines, danger is never far away. Warner Brothers, which owns rival DC Comics, has made close to $4 billion from the latest Batman and Superman movies. It plans to release a host of comic book adaptations from Aquaman to another superhero team, Justice League, during the next six years. The mother of all otherworldly battles may still be to come. There are no strings on me. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington.